Okay, <laughs> for those who've been asking me why I have two bedrooms in my villa in Bali when I live by myself, I think you have the answer in the title of the video. I love having home photography studios. This is something I was building again and again in all the places I've been living in London. And it's how I grew as a photographer, how I was working and how I learned by myself because I was able to get creative with myself and learn a lot about creative lighting. You may know that already if you are part of this amazing community, but if you are not, consider subscribing if we start the same passion for photography and the creative industry because I start weekly videos videos here on my channel. Anyway, I don't have a home photography studio yet, but that's why I thought it was a great idea to show you what you can achieve with a simple wall in a tiny bedroom. So I'm gonna show you, let's go to the room itself, the second room, because I may not have a studio yet, but the gear is growing and I do have new studio lights that you gonna love and you will see why and they are perfect for me because I travel a lot and they are perfect because you can fit them anywhere because they are super tiny. So let's go to the room. Nothing fancy at all, you're gonna see now. I closed because it's freaking hot here in Bali and I have the air conditioning on, otherwise I couldn't record. So this is the room, I'll show you. As you can see, I don't have too much space going on because the bed is massive. So I was shooting in this wall you can see here and in this space. And what I did is to put the tripod in the other side of the bed. So as you can see, I had to manage like I could because many times we put limitations on ourselves saying, okay, how I'm gonna shoot because the bed is here, I don't have a space to move. That's totally fine because you are shooting portraits. Nothing else is gonna show and you can take incredible photos, okay? So don't put limitations on yourself. You can shoot anywhere as long as you have a tiny wall. So I'm gonna show you how, but I'm gonna put you on a tripod first so I can show you the gear I've been using because it's super tiny, very minimalistic, and you can fit it in any bedroom because you're gonna see why in a second. I think that it's fine. The light conditions are changing all the time. I'm using natural light. I apologize for that, but always pay attention. This is another thing I have to tell you. Pay attention to your windows because you have a natural source of light like I have here. But the good thing is that I have curtains, blackout curtains. So what I did is close them because I want to be able to control the light myself. Let's talk about the lights I've been using. I have new studio lights. I've been using two and I've been using one. I always encourage you to use one if you don't have the budget because with one you can get as creative as you want. I promise you that because I've been working almost all my life with one light and it's amazing. So you don't have any excuse. But I was using two for some of the shots. So I'm gonna show you the lights. These are my new studio lights and my new favorite. This video is sponsored by Zeon but don't pay attention to that please because this is my own opinion and I freaking love these lights because could it be tinier? I don't think it could be tinier, okay? This fits in the palm of my hand and I have small hands. This is a continuous light by color. You can taste the temperature of the color of the light and it's also RGB. Reason why they are my favorite guys because if you follow my work, you know that I love using colors for my portrait photography. The power of this light is 60 watts. It's the same power as my Godox I was using in London. You may remember that. I had to take it everywhere and it was heavy and it was very big to be traveling in the underground with it. I didn't have this, this didn't exist. And if you take the combo, you get as well a battery grip. So you can use them outdoors as well, if this is what you are looking for. And the battery full power lasts almost an hour, 50 minutes. It comes as well with a tiny reflector that you can attach and it does a lot. It makes a huge difference, this tiny thing. Now, advice for you. You may not need the combo if you don't wanna shoot outdoors. You may need just the light because you can power it in your studio. That's it. And you can save some money. And instead, something you have to get from Zeon is the Bowens adapter. Because it's such a tiny light, it doesn't have Bowens adapter, okay? It's a different one. But because I have another light from Zeon, you may remember the only light I brought to Bali is the Molus X100 because it was very tiny. That one came with a Bowens adapter that I'm using here. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. I'm gonna put it lower. Look at this, it's ridiculously tiny. 
<laughs> it's like a little toy this light but it's powerful it's 60 watts so this is the bowens adapter as you can see so you attach it to the light and then you can use a big diffuser go for the bowens adapter and a diffuser you can get diffusers anywhere this one is from zeon as well but you can get any diffuser you want i'm a very big fan of using octabox for me it's the best light okay there are different opinions and they are all valid because we all have our own preferences but for me the best three-dimensional light is from octaboxes i love them and this one is deep as well so the light is more like 3d i don't even know how to explain so this is the only light i was using guys 45 degrees angle i'm gonna teach you now some tricks as well so the tripod as i said with the camera was in that side of the bed okay in the other side of the bed and i was here in this wall so i don't have too much space to move I was just here and the camera was there. And then I was shooting with the light here at 45 degrees. My favorite lighting setup, guys, is 45 degrees angle, sometimes 90 degrees to create shadow in half of the face. When you use these lights, when you switch them on, you have different modalities. The bicolor mode, a continuous light, and you can change if you want the temperature colder or warmer. And then you have as well light effects, which is amazing for video, for filmmakers, if you are into that. And then you have the RGB mode, which is what I love the most. So what I was doing, is changing the light here in the main key light and I was using one light in most of my shots as you can see here so it was very easy I highly recommend you this is up to you you have the budget I would have two with two you can create more depth because you can play with lights a lot so I do have a second light stand here I mounted the second light because I have two baby lights and I used the small reflector which it was perfect to focus the red light on my face. So in the main light with the softbox, I was using the blue and I focused the red light a little bit slightly on my face to create this bicolor creative portrait. So guys, with two lights, you're gonna be able to do way more. If you are interested about these lights, I asked Sion to give me a 10% exclusive discount for you. So I'm gonna put it below, you can go through the link, check the lights, and if you like them, you can grab your discount with the code I'm gonna link below as well. And I had to tell you a little secret, which you may know already, if you've been on my channel for a while, which is a broken, very used sandwich bag. This is how I've got the filmy effect, not filmy, the misty, the misty effect of my photos, which looks incredible. So this is a little trick. You can use a plastic bag, a mist filter as well. I'm gonna link mine below. A mist filter is amazing as well to achieve cinematic portraits. Get the Bowens adapter so you can use proper diffusers. This one is 65 centimeters and I think it's quite good. It's big, but it's not that huge for a bedroom. It looks very huge in the frame, to be honest, but it's not that huge. You guys ask me all the time about the diameter of my softbox. I used to have a bigger one in London, almost one meter diameter, but to be honest, it's more than enough with this, okay? Half body, full body even but better half body and portrait more than enough you don't need more than 65 centimeters and this is all you need to shoot in your bedroom just a wall and one light and if you want to spice things up buy another light you just have to play with the rgb lights get creative or if you just want to use the continuous light you can do so as well these lights became my new favorite because they are the most versatile i've ever owned I can lead my YouTube videos, I can do normal portrait photography in a studio, and I can use RGB colors, which I love, for all my creative portrait photography. And the size of it. Every time I have a shoot here in Bali, I can go anywhere with this pocket light and my diffuser, which folds like an umbrella, and the light stand, obviously. But this weights nothing. Again, you're gonna have a 10% discount through the link below. And if you want to learn more about shooting with just one light in a small photography studio, I have more videos I'm gonna link here so you can check them out and you're gonna see how creative you can get with just one light. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, like it because it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon. Big love from Bali.